Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, coming to you with a new video. I am currently going to take down some stuff to the laundry because I have to. Switch over the laundry because I've got about three or four more loads of clothes left to do today. And I just bought a few things at the thrift store and Gabby peed through his clothes. So I'm for my cat friggin' escapes. Cause I don't, we don't allow the kids or animals down here. The kids, because there's stuff they shouldn't be getting into down here. Stuff of mine that I don't want them playing with. Stuff they, I don't want them getting into. Whatever, whatever. And the animal, because it's just it's not safe for them. So I'm gonna do this. First, I'm going to empty this dryer. I'm gonna empty this dryer. So I can refill the dryer. And then I'll fill the laundry. I have, I'm sure you guys can't see me. I have probably two or three more loads of laundry to do because I'm washing all my blankets from the couch and all my blankets from the bed, all my little blankets. Then if I feel up to it, probably either today or tomorrow, I'll wash the actual bedding and stuff. Or I'll have daddy do that on his next day off. But Daddy's like, how are you doing laundry? We haven't been home for two days. I'm like, because I bought some stuff at the thrift store. And there was a whole basket of laundry that you never washed before we left. So that's why. And I want to wash my little blankets because they're disgusting. They smell funny. So I want to get the blankets done. I want to at least get all the blankets done tonight. So I have them for bed and everything else. I have three blankets I use on the couch. Two I cuddle with, one I use to cover up. Then I have three blankets in bed. One I use the pillow, the other two I cut. One I use the pillow, one I cut with, and one I put right here under my, where my incision is. Cause yes, 14 months later, it still hurts. And then when I come down later to switch over laundry, I will, um, start moving more stuff out of the way because he wants a path cleared to the breaker box. So I'm going to do that as well. So that's our next thing to do. So plan for tonight is after I throw this stuff in. I'm going to go grab a snack because I'm starving and dinner's not until 1030. Because all I've eaten today was a couple of handfuls of chips and avocado oil chips and... The rest of my yogurt that was left in the big container. I got, I got, I'm going to put it on my list for, for Friday. I usually get a big thing of yogurt 
when I get yogurt, I'll get like a big thing of yogurt. And then I like the, cause I get the Greek yogurt. If I get a big vanilla Greek yogurt, Walmart brand, and then I get the Chobani lime yogurt. Now I'll bring you over here. So I will show you what I'm throwing in. We have this little squash mallow I just got today from the thrift store. I'm gonna spray him because he's got some stains on him. This it we're using the draft laundry stain remover. We've got him. We've got Steve. Minecraft that I just turned through today. So, we've got this little pig. I can't remember the pig's name. When I think is the pig's name. I have We've got a Hall Kitty blanket that I got from the clothing bank. We've got another blanket that I got from the clothing bank. some pizza that someone gave me and another out uh, pajamas that someone gave me I got from a free group this one needs a little bit spray we have this little fox friend that I thrifted today from Goodwill or probably sorry. we have this troll blanket that I thrifted or that I got from the clothing bank sorry I, you guys know I love trolls, and Poppy Troll is actually who my name is after. We have a bra, which I think is from Open State Job Lot. We have a shirt from Five Below. We've got two more squish that I thrifted today. This one's uh, one to trade. Two washcloths. see behind me. Whoops, clothes. You can't really see the clothes on the floor over here, but if you can see it, you can't really see. But there's probably a good two more loads of clothes to do. It wouldn't be that much if it wasn't a lot of blankets and stuff. So I'm gonna make my concoction that I make. We do one, two, three, three parts dressed. We use this stain remover soap. We use one, two, three parts of that. And then we fill the rest of the cap up with our Tide. Um, we do that because I need to get rid of the draft and because it stretches the Tide. So we have, we use the stain remover obviously for stain removing. We And we use the draft because we need to get rid of it and to stretch it, stretch our Tide. And that's what it looks like. And that's how we do that. When we do our dryer, I don't know if I showed you guys, I do use dryer sheets. Um, I do use, I'm currently using these ones. 
But yeah, so I have these ones to use next. I'm very sensitive. I do have these downy unstoppables. That I might use at some point in the laundry, but I'm super sensitive to laundry softener. I can't use a lot of softener. It literally irritates my skin. And the only shampoo or the only soap I can really use is the Tide. The draft doesn't bother me because it's mixed in. And then it's for hypoallergenic skin. But so far, the only one I've tried that's not expensive hypoallergenic shit that's worked. My skin is tight. It can't be yellow bottles. Nothing it has to be plain old generic name brand. Nothing fancy tied. So that's laundry. So I'll check back probably around 7. 30, I'll go down, take the stuff out of the dryer, because the dryer only takes about 75 minutes. The washer takes a little bit longer. So I'm going to hop on the computer for a few minutes. Then I'm going to grab a snack. I'm going to sit... I think I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna watch YouTube videos or watch Home Improvement and try and finish reading this book that I got that I started forever ago that I have not finished reading, which is The Hunting Accident, True Story of Crime and Poetry. Found it at Dollar Tree and I've got like five books started. So I wanna get all the books that I have started finished so I can get rid of them. I'm gonna put this bag out to be donated. Cause daddy had a pair of shoes that he forgot to get rid of and another shoe that he missed, he got rid of the one already, not the other one. So right now daddy's got two pair of slides, a pair of sandals, a pair of boots, and two pair of sneakers, and a pair of um, what's it called? Slippers. So I gotta open this mail. There's a thing for daddy from DSS. I don't know if that's child support. So we already got denied for food stamps, so I'm guessing it's for child support. And then there's a bill for me that I currently don't have the money to pay from my eye doctor. For some reason, so I'm supposed to get free eye insurance, but last year, because I was pregnant, it was only $25. This year, because I wasn't pregnant, for some reason it was $40. Which I don't understand. Just don't get it, why it's $40. And say, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I paid it last year at the eye doctor when I went. Just so dumb. Like I shouldn't have an invoice. Because it's literally supposed to be free because glasses are covered under my insurance and I didn't get new glasses. And my eye exam is covered under the medical portion of my My insurance. Because I have, um, because I get really bad headaches from my eyes. 
So I don't know why I have to pay, but I mean, usually in my appointment without insurance, with, if I get glasses is around a little over, I think it's like a little over $200, I think is what the appointment comes out to. So I mean, 40 isn't terrible. Because I go to an eye specialist for all my eye problems. But anywho, I'm going to go so I can pee and relax and upload this video and the next video. So I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.